Sarah. Welcome to Grace in My Space. This is my mother, Melinda, and you can follow her on Instagram at Weathervane Farm. Today, she is going to give us a two year update on her rose garden. So, two years ago, we did our first video in your rose garden. Mm -hmm. You walked us through a ton of helpful tips steps to take to accomplish an English rose garden. It was beautiful. It has absolutely exploded over the last two years. And grown. And grown. And I'm going to ask you, what are one or two things that you've learned in the last couple of years of maintaining this massive rose garden that you would think would be helpful for other gardeners? I actually can think of two things. The first one is when you have a large rose garden, stop expecting perfection every single day. Yes. Because there are 99 roses in the garden right now. 99. And expect when you when you are the only one maintaining them, it is literally impossible to have perfection down there every single day. And I've tried to hire help. <laughs> They all quit after one or two days. <laughs> the other thing I would say is be careful what you plant in your rose garden. I thought it would be wonderful to plant some additional flowers for bouquets, for filler flowers. And so I planted in anemones, um, not knowing that they are somewhat similar to mint and grow under the ground, root under the ground, and so now I am trying to get anemones out of my garden before they take it all over. Garden urn is sitting in here, unseeable because the mint has literally overtaken it. <laughs> There's a concrete angel somewhere under here because the mint has overtaken it. <laughs> so if you want something that will devour every plant that you have in your garden, plant mint. <laughs> if you don't, you might not want to plant it because not only does it overrun this area, it has crawled its way down around the corner into a bed that's on the other side of the house. So. Just saying. <laughs> it's a little invasive. <laughs> and the other little third thing I guess I will say is I have battled Japanese beetles for eight years now. I have attempted to conquer them with every tip that I have ever gotten from every other gardener. I think in the last video you said you started cutting them in half. I did. With your clippers. I did. <laughs> They're going to win. Mm. They are just going to win. I give up. I, I concede to them <laughs> for one whole month, the month of July. They start July 1st. They're usually done by the end of July. I have literally tried everything. I could spray triathlozone. And it does kill them, but I think it might also kill me and mm -hmm. have come to the conclusion that I would prefer to keep my lungs yes. healthy, so I do no longer spray it. Um, I will say I don't have any more or less beetles when I was spraying it to when I'm not, so I think while it might have killed the ones it came in contact with, it really isn't a long-term answer for the problem. Not preventative. No. Okay. No. So do you do any hand picking and you know, hand pick soapy water, they will I don't have time drown. for soapy water. I just cut them in half still. Okay. <laughs> or I smash Whatever them. works. Or I smash them. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but um, we're at war, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't really matter the method of killing them. Right, they're gonna die. At least cutting them, quick death. It is a quick death, <laughs> yeah. The other thing I think I thought of that I will say is if you want to grow a large rose garden because you love roses, don't do it. 
If you want to grow a large rose garden because you love gardening and roses, go for it. Okay. But a large rose garden is a lot of work, so you need to love gardening as well as roses. Wise advice. All right. Let's go to the garden. Okay. So, let's start out with this thought. This is how I would like to look when I work in the rose garden. This is the romanticized <laughs> version of rose gardening. This is how I look in the rose garden when I'm working. So, we have this beautiful little version, but if you want reality, sorry. You still look amazing, let's be honest. <laughs> Now, as you can see, my mother's rose garden absolutely exploded over the last two years, not only in volume and the size of each individual plant, but also she keeps adding plants. And so in our video two years ago, I believe she had around 60 plants. This year, she has 99 plants. I would not be surprised if by the end of the year, she doesn't break 100. And as you can see, all of her hard work and effort and hours upon hours spent working in the garden has paid off. She has an absolutely stunning rose garden that also produces beautiful bouquets that have been utilized for weddings and bridal showers and simple gifts to neighbors and loved ones. And I'm excited to show you more of her garden. As we go along, she's going to give a few more tips about how she cares for this many roses, as well as if you want to just start learning about rose care, as it is very different than most plants. But we're also going to be naming as many roses as possible if you want to bring some of these into your home. So as you watch and a rose pops up that you like the look of, I'm going to be placing the names of that specific rose on the screen for you to write down and look further into. If it does not have a name, it means we don't know what it is. Unfortunately, at the beginning of her rose gardening journey, she didn't write down all of the names of her new plants, but since has started to do so, so we'll have a lot of great information for you as you wanna implement these beautiful things into your own home. So sit back, relax, enjoy looking at the beauty of this garden. Write down the names of the roses that you love and are interested in researching for your own space. And then we'll get into some more tips and tricks from my mom. Now, while she has an absolute adoration for roses, she has been gardening for years with other types of plants. Hydrangeas have always been a huge part of my mom's gardening story, and she has absolutely stunning beds around her entire house, not just in the rose garden. This is something that I can remember for as long as I have been alive. Roses and flowers have been a huge part of her story, and it's so fun to get to share this with you for all of you who appreciate it as much as we do. Let's head down into the garden and we will start to share some of my mom's tips for great rose care. They are a little bit more finicky than some plants, but with these tips, you'll have great management for your own space. One thing that's especially fun about this video for me is that my daughter took an interest in being the videographer for much of the footage that you're going to see. And so I hope that you enjoy seeing it from a child's perspective. You wanna be sure that you spray your cutter between roses, because if this one has disease and you come over here and cut, it's gonna have disease. Mm, 
this right here is Abraham Darby, one of my favorites. Come up here, let me see, let me show them what it looks like when your beetles are eating your roses. Blech. Yeah, it's not pleasant. This is why we're at war, because I want them to look more like that. Yeah. You know what's really funny too, Missy, is that um, some of the rose bushes, for some reason, the beetles don't like them. They, yeah. they stay away from certain ones, so I don't know what it is about some that it likes and others that it doesn't, but some of them it just doesn't go to. So when you're cutting this, you want to cut down when you're deadheading. These are old roses that we want to get rid of so that the plant knows to keep blooming. So you don't want to cut right there. You want to go to where there's five leaves down. This has got five leaves all the way down here. I'm going to actually take it all the way down to that five leaves and take that off so that it will bloom again. This is called Q Gardens. And I bought it because I thought it was going to be a great filler flower for um, bouquets. It is a rose, even though it really doesn't look much like our typical rose. Um, I'm not sure that it's what I was hoping for, but I'll give it another year. Let's see how it goes. This is called Plum Perfect. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Um, it took a while for this one to actually establish and, and bloom pretty, but now that it is, I love it. This is all first year roses, so they're all babies. I've actually been really pleased with most of them because they're, they're blooming nice big blooms after only not even one year. So I've been pretty pleased with them. And look at how tall they are already. Princess Charlene de Monaco? Yes. That's hard to say. Oh, this one, Missy, is Cream Veranda. Oh, I love it. They're so beautiful. Isn't that pretty? How they, and they start out this really peachy color, and then they go to this variegated. And at the end, they're this super pale pink. I love those. That's Abraham Darby. I have two of them which is unusual, so it must tell you how much I like that one, because I don't have two of many. They're mostly all one of each. Beautiful. Oh, I love the layers. I know. This one smells amazing, like heaven. Oh. And you think they're gonna grow well in the deep I think they're raised bed? Too well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how tall it's getting. And this is the first year you planted this. Yeah, they're babies. They're brand new. With gusto. Same as this one. That's the same yeah. as that. It's, it's a totally same. different color. I know, that's how they start and then they turn to that really pale. Wow.
thank you for letting us come take a tour. Do you have any closing words? Um, I have some job positions open. If anyone would like to um, come be a rose gardener, uh, let me know. You can even have job titles. You can be like the beetle picker. You can be the disease fighter and I'll get you a shield to wear. Um, I bet I can come up with more names than that. So if you want a fun job, just let me know. <laughs> A huge thanks to my mom, Linda, for letting us browse her rose garden with her once again. You can find her on Weathervane Farm on Instagram. Make sure and give her a follow. She does lots of beautiful gardening artwork that you will be amazed at. And I know that you will love her. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.